Today's class, we will discuss about seed certification. Let us know what do you mean by seed certification. Seed certification is a legally sanctioned system for quality control during seed multiplication and seed production, which mainly involves the field inspection, pre and post control test, and also seed quality test. So remember, seed certification is legally sanctioned system for quality control during seed production, which mainly involves the field inspection, the seed quality test. So what is the main objective of this seed certification? So it is mainly to maintain and make availability of a good quality seeds of notified kind to the farmers through seed certification. So here notified kind or a notified varieties are nothing but the varieties which are registered with the government of India. So also the objective is to increase systematic increase of superior varieties and to identify the new varieties and also their rapid increase and in supply to the farmers in a quickest possible time and also to continuous supply of a good quality seeds to the farmers by careful maintenance of the genetic purity. So these are some of the objectives of the seed certification. So let us see the history of seed certification in India. So in world, the seed certification was established in the Sweden for the first time, but let us see in the India. So under the Seed Act 1966, it has provided the required impetus for the establishment of this official seed certification agencies by the state. The two, the Maharashtra was the first state to establish an official seed certification agency in 1970. So as a part of the Department of Agriculture, whereas Karnataka that was the first state to establish the seed certification agency as an autonomous body during 1974. So at present there are 22 states, they have their own seed certification agency which were established under the Seed Act 1966. Do remember one thing, in India, seed certification is voluntary and labeling is compulsory. So that means the seed certification, that's your wish, whether to take or not, that's totally depends upon you. But whatever the produce or a class of seed or any kind of seed that you produce, that must be labeled with the appropriate labeling. That means seed certification is voluntary and labeling is compulsory. Then the seed certification agency. So here the certification is mainly conducted by the certification agency which is notified under the section of 8 of Seed Act 1966. So under the Seed Act 1966 there are 25 sections. So in these 25 sections there is a section called 8 that denotes that notifies this seed certification agency. So then what is the eligibility for the certification of a crop variety? So all the varieties will they get certification? Obviously the answer is no. So the seeds of only those varieties which are notified under the section of 5 of a seed act 1966 they are only eligible for seed certification. So section 5 of a seed act 1966 that tells about that denotes the notification of variety. Only those notified varieties that are comes under the seed certification. So nucleus seed and the breeder seed they are exempted from the seed certification. But the foundation seed and the certified seed they are only the two classes of seed they comes under the seed certification. So now let us know the principles of a seed certification agency. Before formation of the seed certification agency this agency should follow some principles. So the seed certification agency that should not involve in the seed production and marketing and next one it should be autonomous body. So there should not be any influence or anybody's influence on the seed certification. And the seed certification procedure which is adopted by the seed certification agency that should be uniform throughout the country. And also it should closely associated with the technical institutes. It should operate on no profit and no loss basis. It should also have adequate technical staff and the facilities for the timely inspection of the seed fields. It should also serve for the interest of the seed producer and the buyers. So these are the principles of seed certification agency. On these, 
on these principles the chief certification agency has to work now let us see the phases of seed certification or the process of our seed certification so how one can get the seed certification or certificate from the seed certification agency there are mainly six phases such as the first one is recipient scrutiny of application then verification of seed source then the third one field inspection to confirm field standards and then post harvest supervision of seed crops to confirm seed standards then seed sampling and testing and the last sixth phase is labeling tagging sealing and grant of certificate by seed certification agency so these are six phases one has to follow to get certificate from the seed certification agency so let us see one by one the first phase is recipient scrutiny of application any person who wants to produce a certified seed or any class of a seed he has to submit his application in the form number 1 to the concerned seed certification agency with the prescribed fee of rupees 25 rupees so this fees will be only per season per variety and up to the land area of 25 acres and the separate application should be made under these conditions such as if your area is more than 25 acres then you will be uh, making separate application if the more than one variety which is sown in in our area then also you have to go for separate application then if the field is scattered and separated by more than 50 meters then also you have to apply separate application and if the sowing or da uh, date of sowing is differ by more than 7 days so under these uh, circumstances the separate application should be made to the seed certification agency by the grower so sowing report or the application that should reach the concerned seed certification officer within 30 days from the date of sowing or 15 days before the planting whichever is earlier you have to submit it to the seed certification officer so in case of transplanted seed or crop the sowing report or the application that should reach the seed certification agency 15 days before the planting on the receipt of this application the seed certification agency has to verify the following conditions the first thing he has to verify that the eligibility of variety so as i told you earlier only the varieties which are notified under the section of 5 of seed act 1966 those are only eligible for the seed certification so here notification of variety is nothing but registration of your variety by the central government of india so only those varieties that are eligible for the certification then establishing seed source you also verify this seed source the seed producer has to submit tag invoice and the copy of form number 2 to the seed certification agency or uh, there should not be any difficulty in the reaching a field for the carrying out a timely field inspection and also he has to verify whether the isolation distance and the land requirement they are followed or not whether the processing unit facility is available to the applicant or not and the applicant whether he paid the requisite registration fee or not so these are the conditions or points that he has to verify so this is about the first step that is receipt and scrutiny of application then the next one is verification of seed source so during the first field inspection of a seed form the seed certification officer he will verify whether the seed source that is used for the seed production whether it is from the approved source or not that he has to verify so the seed should be obtained from authenticate source and appropriate class and it also should be in accordance with the indian minimum seed certification standards so these are the classes of seed for production of these class of seed i should get a source of seed so for example uh, for the production of foundation seed i has to purchase i have to purchase the source of seed is breeder seed for a certified class of seed the source is foundation seed so this is about the verification of seed source and the appropriate class of seed should be taken for the production of particular class of seed then the third stage is field inspection 
So the main objective of this field inspection is to verify the factors which can cause irreversible damages to the genetic purity of your crop. So to know those factors which can cause the irreversible damage to the genetic purity of crop, the field inspection has to be done by the field inspector. So this table denotes the key points that one has to observe during the field inspection at a different crop growth stages. The first column shows the different crop growth stages during which the field inspector will be visiting your field and the next column that shows the key points that the field inspector has to observe during the field inspection. The first stage of crop growth is free flowering stage or vegetative stage. So this is the first stage of a crop growth during which the first field inspection has to be made by field inspector. So what are the key points that he has to observe during the vegetative stage? Yeah, the first one is verification of seed source. The field inspector has to verify the seed source. Then he also confirm the number of acres that the grower has mentioned in the application whether it is true or not. And also he has to look for land requirement. Land requirement is nothing but the land that you taken for the seed production that should not be sown with the same crop in the previous season to avoid the genetic or physical contamination. So that is the land requirement. In case of hybrid seed production, the field inspector has to look for the proper planting ratio on the border rows and isolation distance whether they are uh, adequate or not that the field inspector has to verify. And also he has to guide the grower in the identification of off-type pollen shedder, disease plants, shedding tassels based on the morphological characters. These are the key points that the field inspector has to observe during the pre-flowering stage or vegetative stage. Then the next stage is flowering stage. So during the flowering stage, the field inspector has to confirm the observations of the plants inspections were correct or not. Whichever, whichever the observations that he made in the previous visit or previous inspection, whether they are uh, correct or not, that he has to confirm. So also he has to confirm whether the grower had continually roped out or not uh, after the previous inspection, that he has to confirm. Also he has to verify the removal and the occurrence of the off-type pollen shedder, shedding tassel, objectionable weed plants and the diseased plants. Whether they are removed or not, whether the, is there any presence of these unwanted plants or rogues in your field, field that the field inspector has to verify. Then the third stage is post flowering stage or also called as pre-harvesting stage. So during this stage, the field inspector has to confirm the correctness of observations that he made in the earlier inspection. And also he has to guide the grower on roguing based on the pods, ear heads, seed chaff characters based on the seed color, shape, size that he has to guide the farmer. And also he has to explain the grower regarding when to harvest and how to harvest the seed crop and also how to process without damaging the seed. So this is the explanation of a guidance that should be given by this field inspector to the seed grower or a producer. Then the last stage of field inspection is during harvesting stage. So during harvesting stage, the field inspector has to verify that whether the male parent rows have been harvested separately or not, that he has to confirm. And also he has to ensure the complete removal of off type other crop plants, resist plants before harvest. If it is not done, then it will ultimately lead to the mechanical admixtures and the genetic deterioration of variety. So and also he has to seal the uh, thrashed seeds properly after drying. Then also he has to instruct the seed grower for a safe storage and the transportation. This is about the field inspection and the key factors that he has to verify during the field inspection that are different crop growth stages. So this is all about today's class. In the next class, we will discuss about the field counts and other three phases of seed certification. So this is all about today's class. Thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe my channel. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section.